Hey for everybody, Magpan9901 here, and in this video we're going to be looking again at Windows 10 game mode. Seems to be every day something new comes out about this. We've been waiting for some um, benchmarks to turn up so that we could get an idea of what game mode will actually do with the games that we play. There's been a couple of benchmarks posted out there, there's some from a guy on Reddit who has actually tested it on the Insider version and he did this with Forza Horizon 6 and it gave him actually no gain in the game whatsoever. Now looking at the numbers that he's actually posted, with game mode enabled, this is on an NVIDIA GTX 970, an i7 4670K with 16GB of RAM. It's running it at 1080p max settings with MSA disabled, uncapped FPS and VSync disabled. Now with game mode enabled he's getting an average of 59 FPS. With game mode disabled it goes up to 63.5 FPS so it's pretty much no difference there in gameplay whatsoever, give or take a couple of frames. You're not going to notice that, it's not noticeable to the naked eye, it's going to make no difference whatsoever. So right now, game mode for that game and for that person is having zero effect. Now is that result indicative for everybody? We just don't know yet. There's not enough people out there done any kind of tests for it to get a true picture of how it's working. There is another guy that's done a test with um, Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and again, no discernible change in FPS whatsoever. So whilst that's quite disappointing at the moment, it's not um, it's not really surprising. It's only just come out, it's only been activated a couple of days. It's on the inside of build for a reason, that's because they want feedback, it needs testing. So I would assume that these figures will change eventually, they will be able to get a gain in some games. It's not going to work for every game, you know, that's just the way it'll go. But Microsoft's got to work on it. You would expect that they've been working on it already, so you would expect a little increase, maybe not a lot, but some sort of tiny increase, but for it to actually go down isn't a good sign. But like I say, it's early days, it's only just come out, it's going to take time for them to get it working, it's going to take time to try it on different types of games. They're probably not going to be going to make it work on every single game. I would expect that UWP titles will work with it and there should be a difference in performance with those because Microsoft obviously helps engineer those games so we'll hopefully see a gain in those games. But for now that's all the news I've got for you. Hopefully we'll get some more benchmarks out there. Hopefully we'll get some of the uh, bigger YouTubers trying this out and seeing what they say about it and we'll see where it goes from here. It is due to be out in the next next big update for Windows 10 which I think is sometime in the spring so we're looking at March, April time possibly. So yeah, we'll see. If you like the video give it a thumbs up, if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down, that's fine. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video, take care.